and thanks for the sus subscribers so far. Um, just want to say, uh, Danny, Ian, absolutely brilliant guys. Love the fact that you're getting help from my videos. And Danny, that was a beautiful owl you tied. Um, it's just good to see uh, other people learning. And first place I started was uh, YouTube as well. Um, and we're always learning. But besides that, tonight I'm going to be tying a black cruncher. Um, just a few fibres of a hackle for the tail. Small black hackle for the front. And some very thin silver wire. <clears throat> this is a fairly simple fly. Um, loads of variations. Um, I've done a few on my Emmy Fly Time page. Some really good colours and you can mix and match. Um, I'm going to be doing a size 14 tonight in a camisan. If you're doing bigger then you could use uh, like a, a 140 UTC thread which is thicker. And if you look at it closely you see the st strands separate the thread I'm going to be using tonight is a uh, UTC again but black and 70 which is a lot thinner um, so let's get going so just start off as you would normally do it just get a nice good base now you see how that's starting to fray there a wee tip for you guys if you're going to use UTC, spin it anti clockwise, and you'll see the strands start to close together. So we'll just work our way just to a bit before the barb, or in line with the barb. <coughs> so we've got the hackle, just slide the, the fibres all the way back against ourselves and then what you want to do is just pinch a few pull them off make sure they're all nice and neat like so and then hold that to the side pinch loop keep the tension on it and again there we go just work our way up that body, just tidying everything up, giving, giving it an even taper. Let's get rid of that wee bit there. There we go. And like I say, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> fairly lightly dress this one because it's a smaller one. It's entirely up to yourselves if you want to overdress it, underdress it, change the materials. That's one of the beauties of fly tying, guys. Mix and match. Have an imagination, think outside the box. Um, what I will say is, as well, is when you've tied in a tail, if you just put a layer of thread under that, and again, you see how that lifts the tail up. And then you can have a long tail, short tail. It's your preference, guys. The world's your oyster. Right, what I'll do is I'll go back up. And then what I'll do is I'll get my wire. <coughs> and then I'll just and near the head, hold it to the side so when you're tying that in back to the tail, it's evenly tapered. You haven't got any lumpy body or anything because it's such a small fly, and I'm using well, underdressing it so to speak. Sometimes I think I think a fly looks really nice 
underdressed. It's more uh, detail. <coughs> right, so what we'll do is, we'll just work our way back up there. There we go, we'll just keep going, and then we'll stop about a few mil before the eye of the hook. And get your wire. What I will say as well is, sometimes when you're putting the wire on, you might find when you're wrapping it, it'll slip. If you want, you can put a wee layer of super glue on and then start wrapping it. Whatever's easiest for yourself. So we'll just do a nice. Take your time. Make sure you get them nice and even. There we go. Just keep the tension on the wire all the time. There we go. And I'll just tie that bit in. If you, when you're tying in materials, if you've got a material clip, always put your materials that you've got to tie in in the clip, and it just gives you the whole space to work with. Or if you've got a bobbin cradle and you need to do wraps, just put it onto the bobbin cradle. It'll make your life a lot easier to tie. Right, so. Tails in, nice tape at the body, ribs looking good, just put a wee bit more there, just tidy that bit up. Now for the, the hackle, <coughs> when you've got the hackle, you can see the wee fluffy bit, just strip all that back. And you will find is when you take that stuff off then you just throw it away put it in a wee tub or something because I don't know if you can see it good dubbing if I ever throw any loose materials away and there's so many other materials that you can use around the house for your pets um, your tumble dryer craft shops I mean amazing amount of things that you'd never think to use right so what we'll do is I'll just tie this in at the side keep a hold of that hackle tie that stem in so make sure it's all secure and I'll just turn that round The, the hackle stem. There we go. Now, if you get your <coughs> hackle pliers, and when you're putting the hackle pliers on, what you, want to, you can either put them at the side or down the middle of the stem. I'll just clip them in at the start. Now, just gently does the hackle turns. And when you're doing the hackle turns, one after the other, touch and turns. Just keep going. Don't worry about all the fibres that are going everywhere because that will get sorted. And even if you just wet your fingers, stroke them all back. Normally, it's a hen hackle for the crunchers, but personally, I like a, a cock hackle. Like I say, it's personal preference. Hen hackle, you, you might, might get a bit more movement off it, but like I say, personal preference. Okay, so, <clears throat> looks a bit of a mess in anyway, but um, like I say, it's, don't worry about that, just concentrate on step by step of what you're tying in and then the next step will follow. So, like I says, if you just stroke all that back, and then just hold it all there, just give that a nice, neat little 
forehead. Let's see if I can clean this. Right, when I do a whip finish, I always like to just lift that hook a little bit. Now you just make sure that you're happy with everything because once you've done this, that's it. But I don't know if any of you have ever seen that uh, kiss the water. Um, there's not a lot of fishing in it if that's what you're looking for, but. I mean, I've watched it three times over and over, and I could watch it again. Absolutely amazing documentary. And if you're a keen fly fisher, fly tyer, or watch it, trust me, amazing guys. Right, so we'll get the whip finish. First hook, then the next twist, turn, pull the bobbin away, keep the tension. There we go. I usually give a couple of wraps twice. There we go. Just get rid of that. And then all you need to do now is just tidy everything up. And it's funny because as fly tires, when it comes to <coughs> taking a picture, you always want it to look the best neat, tidy, um, it's just, I don't know if per perfection is the right, way, the right word, but you always, whatever you're doing or making, you always want it to look the best, and it could be the scruffiest of flies that you've tied, the worst fly that could catch the most fish, but there we go, and then obviously Add a wee touch of. I like to use super glue. It's resin. Um, we tip for you. Nail varnish, clear nail varnish, hardening nails or something for Sally's, things like that. But just beware if you're going to do do that and take it for the wife or girlfriend. Beware for it to be angry, guys. Trust me, but it's also good for uh, if you're doing buzzers to give it a, a coat, a few coats of that. Just stops it from getting damaged as well when the, the fish are biting it. Right, guys, that is the black cruncher on a size 14. I hope you liked the video. Um, and listen, guys, just keep going, Danny, Ian. Anybody else that's starting off, feel free to message me anytime on YouTube, Emmy Fly Town, on my personal page. My channel is Mark Angus. Any flies that you want done, just buzz me and I'll do my best. Enjoy the weekend, guys. Thanks. Alright, guys, welcome to Emmy Fly Town again. Um, thanks for the sus subscribers so far. Um, just want to say, uh, Danny, Ian, absolutely brilliant guys, love the fact that you're getting help from my videos, and Danny, that was a beautiful owl you tied, um, it's just good to see uh, other people learning, and first place I started was uh, YouTube as well, um, and we're always learning. But besides that, tonight I'm going to be tying a black cruncher. Um, just a, a few fibres of a hackle for the tail. Small black hackle for the front. And some very thin silver wire. <clears throat> this is a fairly simple fly. Um, loads of variations and um, I've done a few on my Emmy Fly Time page some really good colours and you can mix and match um, I'm going to be doing a size 14 tonight in a camisan if you're doing bigger then you could use uh, like a, a 140 UTC thread which is thicker 
and if you look at it closely, you see the st strands separate. The thread I'm going to be using tonight is a uh, UTC again, but black and 70, which is a lot thinner. Um, so let's get going. So just start off as you would normally do. Just get a nice good base. Now you see how that's starting to fray there. A wee tip for you guys if you're going to use UTC. Spin it anti-clockwise and you'll see the strands start to close together. So we'll just work our way just a bit before the barb. We're in line with the barb. <coughs> so we've got the hackle. Just slide the, the fibres all the way back against ourselves. And then what you want to do is just pinch a few, pull them off, make sure they're all nice and neat, like so. And then hold that to the side, pinch, loop, keep the tension on it, and again, there we go. And then we'll just work our way up that body. Tidying everything up, even giving it an even taper. Let's get rid of that wee bit there. There we go. And like I say, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> fairly lightly dress this one because it's a smaller one. It's entirely up to yourselves if you want to overdress it, underdress it, change the materials. It's one of the beauties of fly tying, guys. Mix and match. Have an imagination, think outside the box. Um, what I will say is, as well, is when you've tied in a tail, if you just put a layer of thread under that, and again, and you'll see how that lifts the tail up. And you can have a long tail, short tail, it's your preference guys, the world's your oyster. Right, what I'll do is, I'll go back up, and then what I'll do is I'll get my wire, <coughs> and then I'll just tie that in near the head. Hold it to the side, so when you're tying that in back to the tail, it's evenly tapered. And you haven't got any lumpy body or anything because it's such a small fly and I'm using, well, underdressing it so to speak. Sometimes I think, I think a fly looks really nice underdressed. It's more uh, detail. <coughs> right, so what we'll do is we'll just work our way back up there. There we go, just keep going. And then we'll stop about a few mil before the eye of the hook. And you get your wire. What I will say as well is sometimes when you're putting the wire on, you might find when you're wrapping it, it'll slip. If you want, you can. Put a wee layer of super glue on and then start wrapping it. Whatever's easiest for yourself. So we'll just do a nice. Take your time. Make sure you get them nice and even. There we go. Just keep the tension on the wire all the time. There we go. And we'll just. Tie a bit in. If you, when you're tying in materials, if you've got a material clip, always put your materials that you've got to tie in in the clip, and it just gives you the whole space to work with. 
or if you've got a bobbin cradle and you need to do wraps, just put it onto the bobbin cradle. It'll make your life a lot easier to tie. Right, so tails in, nice tape at the body, ribs looking good. Just put a wee bit more there, just tidy that bit up. Now for the, the hackle. <clears throat> when you've got the hackle, you can see the wee fluffy bit. Just strip all that back. And you will find is when you take that stuff off, then you just throw it away, put it in a wee tub or something because I don't know if you can see it. Good dubbing. Never ever throw any loose materials away. And there's so many other materials that you can use around the house for your pets, um, your tumble dryer, craft shops. I mean, it's an amazing the amount of things that you would never think to use. Right, so what we'll do is I'll just tie this in at the side. Keep a hold of that hackle, tie that stem in so make sure it's all secure. I'll just turn that round. Just get rid of the, the hackle stem. There we go. Now, if you get your <coughs> hackle pliers. And when you're putting the hackle pliers on, you, want to, you can either put them at the side or down the middle of the stem. I'll just clip them in at the start. Now, just gently does the hackle turns. And when you're doing the hackle turns, one after the other, touch and turns. Just keep going, don't worry about all the fibres that are going everywhere because that will get sorted. And even if you just wet your fingers, stroke them all back. Normally it's a hen hackle for the crunchers, but personally I like a, a cock hackle. Like I say, it's personal preference. Hen hackle, you might, might get a bit more movement off it, but like I say, personal preference. Okay, so <clears throat> looks a bit of a mess in anyway, but um, like I say, don't worry about that, just concentrate on step by step of what you're tying in, and then the next step will follow. So, like I say, if you just stroke all that back, And just hold it all there. Just give that a nice, neat little head. That's looking quite nice. Right, when I do a whip finish, I always like to just lift that hook a little bit. And you just make sure that you're happy with everything. Because once you've done this, that's it. But I don't know if any of you have ever seen that uh, Kiss the Water. Um, there's not a lot of fishing in it if that's what you're looking for, but I mean, I've watched it three times over and over and I could watch it again. Absolutely amazing documentary. And if you're a keen fly fisher, fly tire, or watch it, trust me, amazing guys. Right, so we'll get the whip finish. First hook, then the next twist, turn, pull the bobbin away, keep the tension. And there we go. I usually give a couple of wraps twice. There we go. 
that. And then all you need to do now is just tidy everything up. And it's funny because as fly tires, when it comes to <clears throat> taking a picture, you always want it to look the best, neat, tidy. Um, it's just, I don't know if per perfection is the right way, the right word, but you always, whatever you're doing or making, you always want it to look the best. And it could be the scruffiest of flies that you've tied, the worst fly that could catch the most fish. But there we go, and then obviously just add a wee touch of. I like to use super glue, use resin. Um, we tip for you nail varnish, clear nail varnish, hardening nails or some of Sally's things like that. But just beware if you're going to do. It, do that and take it for the wife or girlfriend. Be aware for it to be angry, guys. Trust me. But it's also good for uh, if you're doing buzzers to give it a, a coat, a few coats of that. Just stops it from getting damaged as well when the, the fish are biting it. Right, guys, that is the black cruncher on a size 14. I hope you liked the video. Um, and listen guys just keep going Danny, Ian, anybody else that's starting off feel free to message me anytime on YouTube Emmy Fly Town on my personal page my channel is Mark Angus any flies that you want done just buzz me and I'll do my best enjoy the weekend guys thanks